So I've just written a mobile app and it was really easy. I'm going to show you what I did. This is my app. It was surprisingly easy. There you go. This is on the tablet running here. I've got it on my phone as well. I'll cast that later on. But I'm using Phone Gap and it was surprisingly easy to create some HTML and some JavaScript and have it automatically converted to an app. I'm going to show you the basic steps I went through to do that. It was simple. So this is my app on my website. Right, essentially, it's a simple HTML page with some JavaScript and it randomly generates a slogan. And I wanted to create a mobile version of this, but I kind of been putting off. But then I found PhoneGap and when you look through the instructions for PhoneGap, it says install the app, install the mobile app, create your PhoneGap app, then run it on your device. What could be easier? And it was actually pretty easy. So I'm going to show you the steps that I went through. So basically, if you want to do this, you're going to need some HTML. And if you want to do more than HTML, you're going to need some JavaScript skills, but no more than that to start with. So on the PhoneGap site, go to their Get Started page, install the desktop app. That's important. Install the mobile app. Now, the mobile app didn't work on my phone. So I have installed their mobile app, their phone gap app on my tablet, which you can see here. Let's go through this process. Let me get their phone gap app up. Okay. So let's imagine that we've just installed their phone gap and now we're going to create a new phone gap app. So I'm going to create a new phone gap project and I'm going to do their hello world one. All right. So I've gone in my development folder. I'm going to create hello world two. Oh, I'm going to create a folder for their app. Hello world two. I'm not going to worry about the spelling because I don't care. So I'm going to create this. I'm going to give it a display name. Hello world an ID. Blah. Right now that should normally be sound like a uk.co.compendium dev or com dot evil tester or whatever normal path you have for your apps, but I'm just putting this in. Then I'm going to create project. I'm going to wait until it's done. Then when it's done, here we go. Hello world. Da, 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 da. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start it. So that's what this button does. Server is running here. Now, because this is running my local machine, I could uh, click on this link and that will get me a browser up and I will see their app. Great. But what I really want is I want the app on my mobile device, which is over here. So I'm going to start their phone gap app on my tablet because that's the only thing that works on for me. Then I need the server address and phone gap happily shows you a bunch of IP addresses that you can connect to. Now, my <laughs> machine has a whole bunch of network adapters. If you've only got one, you'll probably only see one or two here. Choose the same network that your tablet is connected to, the same Wi-Fi network. I have two or three. So but I'm connected to one, and that is the same one here, 192.168.1.187, port 3000. So if I hit connect, so I could amend that on here, but I don't need to. So I'm going to hit connect, and the mobile device should go off to the phone gap server on my desktop and download this app. There we go. So now on my tablet, um, I can see the same thing that I saw on the browser. So I know that my phone gap mobile device is working and I know that the thing in the, the server is working. Great. Now, a phone gap app is pretty simple. Let me just open this up here. So here's the folder I created it in. Here's the project and you can see a bunch of stuff. Now the important things for us are the config.xml and you can see this is quite a lot of stuff in here. When we create one for ourselves, it won't be this big. Then we've got the www and you can see they've got some JavaScript tests, some JavaScript, some CSS, some images, and then the main file. And this is really what is rendered and we can see that it says connecting to a device, device is ready. 
I wonder if I change this. I'll put in a new paragraph. Hello world. Because you'd almost expect a, a Hello World app to say Hello World. So I'm going to save that. And then look what's happened over here. Look what's happened to my tablet. It says Hello World. So I've changed the HTML here and it's working on my tablet. So these two things are in sync. And that's basically my application. Now at this point, I could turn that into an app and uh, using the, the build.phonegap.com. But what we're going to do is I'm going to start really from scratch. Now, if I go into phone gap, let me stop this. If I instead do create new phone gap project and do a completely blank one and do next, choose a local path. So I'll do this com.evil tester. Oops, that should be in this one. Blank, create project. And we wait. So I've got this here. So if I run that, and let me get this up over here. File, open folder, blank. Okay. So now what we have are is that running? Let's see what it's uh, got. There we go, a completely blank app. So what we have is we've got the config file. Now this is a lot simpler now. This is where you're gonna put your uh, metadata for your particular app. All I did, right, was change the title to Evil Test Sloganizer, a brief description, my details in there. I left index.html because I haven't read the phone gap documentation yet, right? All I've done is that basic four step process. Then in the www, you can see we've got index.html. So if I know how to create a basic HTML page, if I knew how to spell, that would work better. Let me save that. There you go. So that app has refreshed. And if I come out of the phone gap one here and reload, oops, <laughs> I can't use the mouse. I can't use the mouse. I have to hit on the tablet. There we go. So anything I put in here will work as an app. So if if you've got a basic JavaScript app, you've got a basic HTML files, you should be able to convert it. Now in my head, I'm thinking I could put all my little buggy games and things on here. This is so simple, but I'll show you the app that I did write. Let's go back to that. So this is the evil tester sloganizer. Now what I did before I turned it into a phone gap app is I did a, a new version because that was a, that was a complete one page version. So what I've done is my app is now some very simple HTML and I've got two HTML files, but everything is gone out to separate files. So I've put a basic CSS file that has the formatting for my app, the main JavaScript for my app, seems like a lot, but it isn't really. And I've created two versions of the, the web GUI functions, one for the mobile, one for the web, so that this is the phone gap HTML. And it's basically an HTML page it brings in the uh, CSS files and it imports my main apps, uh, my main JavaScript and my mobile one. Cause I want a slightly cut down version of the app for PhoneGap. Then what I can do is just to demonstrate that it's just complete HTML, I can run this app in the browser and it's very simple. Now it's just a browser and now it's just a button that uses some JavaScript to generate some slogans. That's easy. There's no pop-ups. There's nothing else. So in order to turn this into an app, right, what I did is I created a, a separate folder. Well, you've already got the folder because you've got the, the phone gap app. So I went to the phone gap folder. This is the blank one. And all I did is I took that high level folder and created a zip file. So that's zipping up all the platform stuff, all the, the things that it created by itself and my code. 
then I went off to build.phonegap.com. Then what you'll do is you'll create an account, you'll log in, and uh, then you'll have a blank thing here. Create a new app. I think you're only allowed one private one. So at the moment I'm still experimenting. So create a new app, create a private one because you'll want to upload the zip file. Then what you do is you've got your app, then you update code. Then it'll prompt you to upload the zip file. So you upload the zip file in there, then it will build it. And then if it builds successfully, it will generate the Android and the uh, Windows file. There we go. If I go off to the, I clicked on the app title there, then we can see the app with its app ID. Then you can see here that I haven't done any iOS development stuff. There's no key selected, so it hasn't built an iOS app because you have to key them and I need to investigate that and look into that and see why that's happening. I don't know why that's happening. But I'm focusing on Android at the moment. So I've got an APK here that I can download. But the benefit is, so I, I download that. I got my phone to this URL, then I can download that. In fact, let's do that. Let's do that. So there we go, that's the URL in my browser. It's the same as the one up there. Hit return, it goes off to that page. Then I can just click the big Android button. It will download the APK. There we go. Download an APK, downloads it. Download. Then I can install that, even though it's already installed and you can go through. You'll have to set up your Android device to allow um, installation of apps from non Google Play things. But once you do that, you will then on your phone have your app. Now at this point, I haven't created an icon for it. I haven't done anything except HTML and JavaScript. So I've got the default phone gap icon there. And then I've actually got an app that I has installed. <laughs> Amazingly simple. Uh, so, I mean, it took me maybe an hour to get everything tidied up, but five minutes to do that process. This looks like a completely viable way of creating very, very simple um, apps. I will be learning this in more detail. So if you know the basics of HTML and JavaScript, you too could have an Android app and a Windows phone app in a couple of extra minutes. And now I need to figure out how to do an iPhone app and then build this up. But what a fantastic free set of tools this is from PhoneGap. So all the documentation for PhoneGap is on phonegap.com. You've got the automated build stuff through build.phonegap.com. If you want to look at what I've done, then you can go off to eviltest.com slash app slash sloganizer.html for the main web app, or you can go off to GitHub. So on my GitHub page, github.com slash evil tester, I've got two sloganizers. So I've got the mobile sloganizer, which is basically the sloganizer here, but this is the actual project that I've used in PhoneGap. So you can have a look at that if you want to see how I did it. But this um, was easy. So if you're doing HTML and JavaScript, have a look at PhoneGap and you could have mobile apps out by the end of the day. Oh.